What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, coming back for the Season 2 finale of The Legend of Vox Machina. We've come here at last. This has been an awesome ride and I've really enjoyed getting to know these characters and finding so many different reasons to appreciate them along the journey. We're like halfway through the conclusion right now. We took the fight to Umbrasil, Percy laid an ingenious trap, which I definitely didn't give any credit at all, and then it worked, so it shows what I know. Um, the dagger made it through, it was really painful to watch, and now he's flying away with Grog just like dangling, trying to get the vestige. I gotta know what happens next, so we're gonna dive in right now. Oh, this must be a flashback. And though it was mainly the brave Scanlan Shorthalt who slayed the dreaded dragon Umbrasil oh? and freed the city of Westworld. Whoa, Westbrook, flash forward? The rest of Vox Machina also contributed in minor yet unspecific ways. Scanlan has kids. End. The legend of Scanlan oh, Shorthalt. Say it again, grandfather. Grandfather. Are you trying to say pink hair is hereditary? <laughs> Maybe one more story. Yay! And her pink has gone gray. What? Wake up? I... Uh... Oh my god, he's dreaming. Of course, this is a dream. Open your eyes! Huh? You have to wake Oh my god, they're still inside the fucking dragon! I forgot about that, they never got out! Vax! What in the hell? I was having the best dream! Well, welcome back to your worst nightmare. I was gonna say, wake back up to the nightmare time. Oh shit. Oh, don't pan us back out the way we came in. We don't want to see that. Come on, man. <laughs> oh. Just hang on, Grog. Okay, okay. So they're flying to the dragon's lair. And, and Percy, Scanlan, and Grog will be there. Maybe Keyleth can, like, do her tree thing to get the rest of Vox closer to the cave and they can come back them up. Man, this is... This is dire, though. The party's been separated mid-encounter. Like, I don't I don't know how they can position themselves to be of any use if Umbrasil's all the way over here. You know? With the vestige. All right, well, all this means is that whatever conclusion happens, it's not going to be something I'm able to anticipate, which means I'm going to be surprised, and that's a good thing. Because I can't... Yeah, I can't fathom what they're going to do to pull this off at this point. And it's got to be... It's got to be now. It's got to be today. This is the final episode. Unless they fail. I guess I hadn't really considered that that's a possibility, but... This whole thing's based on dice rolls. I guess failure is on the table. That Damn. was their plan? <laughs> to whoop his ass? <laughs> well, when you put it that way... We need a sky ship to catch them. Well, maybe we don't. Oh, use the broom. Ready, Kiki? Let's fly. Nice. Okay. Woo! I feel like that wild shape would have come in handy a few times in the past. Damn it, that thing can move! Steady, killer! Shoot him! Now! I, I, Man, I was not expecting an aerial chase. This is cool. Faster, Keyleth! We're losing them! I'm pretty sure she's flying as fast as she can. She's got two people on her back. Oh, God, just hold on, Grog! No! Whoo! God! It'll take more than that to shake me! Man, don't challenge him right now. <laughs> oh, fuck! He's giving you the Endor Scout Trooper treatment. No. Ha! Yes! What do we do? Go back to a task? <laughs> I mean... Too much acid. A, too much acid, and B, then you will fall to your death. We'll just have to make a bigger hole. Oh my god, yes, get to the place where Grog is making a hole and work together, you know? Umbrasil! He was gonna say he's not gonna let you do that for too long. Oh god, and it like burned up his- Ugh. Think, think, think! Ooh. Oh yeah! Okay. Did he use the gauntlets to somehow like... Cushion his fall? Ooh, yeah! Grog, no! Come on, Pike, can you heal him? Hang on, Grog. Hang on. That was a really bad fall. Like, god damn. Oh, damn it, this will take forever. It's just down to you two now. Oh, why does it always have to be fucking acid? I think you guys are cutting right underneath, like, the acid gland or whatever. Oh! Oh! Vital organs, you found some! Let's go! 
Yeah. Woo! Oh, Go back down. in. Go back in. Just gonna jump out onto the hand. Nice. Nice fisting back there. <laughs> but Umbrasil still has the vestige, oh, you guys. Oh! That's no good. Beautiful sky background, though. Matron, your champion needs you. Oh, damn. Here we go. Cool. So now he can do this at will. He doesn't have to be at that place anymore. I'm in your hands. That's cool. He only had to step into and the pool I for that initial no connection, and now he's like, got that. Whoa. Hey, hey, that's the shot for the beginning. That crow flying by. That's from the opening. That's from the opening sequence. What? Oh, I got a chill. Woo, yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm so in love with you right now. <laughs> Oh, that was such a cool reveal. And the music swelled, like, perfectly. That was an awesome soundtrack moment. I'm feeling way better. Easy. Easy. <gasps> Look at this goddamn hero. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I have a broom and you get fucking wings. <laughs> Holy shit. Grog! Yeah, he's not doing great. He's headed into that mountain. Yep. We need to hurry. That's where Uriel kept the family atomics. Pike's done, and it's got Myth Carver. We did chase it out of Westron. Maybe that's enough. You've still got the bow and the gauntlets, though. It's better than nothing. We've all had our moments where we want to walk away, but this can't be one of them. Too much hangs at stake here. The Chroma Conclave, this could be the end of everything. Right now is our best chance. Come on, Scanlan, you can't have a crisis of confidence every time we go up against a big bad. Like, it's always Scanlan that they have to convince not to walk away when the going gets tough. Where is my... Apologies, my king. Does he need the gold just to have, like, a suitable offering for him? Or is it actually, like, a, a component of his emergence? Like, on a magical level? You're injured. Am I? Man, that's cheating. <laughs> also, I love that Myth Carver has become dragon sized. Like, when it was handed to Scanlan, it shrunk down to be like gnome sized, and now it's like this massive, massive sword in, in Umbrasil's hand. Now is not the time for cowardice. Damn. I mean, he's right, though. Remember, the safe word is Jenga. <laughs> Took me a second. It's just gonna become an ongoing thing. The two of them confessing their love for each other on the eve of battle. I don't want to let her down anymore, you know? Let who down? My daughter. Kaylee? Nice. Pike put it together immediately. Then don't. Sounds easy. It's not. Nothing worth it ever is. If it's not easy, but nothing's easy, doesn't that mean that it's just normal then? Sick. Oh, that was great. No! That's fucked up, man! Don't let Scanlan see that. He'd be very upset. Ah, you've come to deliver a vestige. Not fast enough. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck that. God, it was almost all over for him. God damn it, Vax, the reason that you came is because of your super speed, but you're not fast enough for the dragon. We need a new plan. He can't go in alone like this. Vax is going to get into trouble in there, and then Scanlan's going to show up and be heroic and try and, like, change things around for himself. He's going to come in clutch. I'll stay with Grog. We're splitting the party? I mean, leaving Grog behind makes sense to me because he's injured, but you need a healer. You know, like, Keyleth, Keyleth's not going to hack it on her own. We need Pike and Keyleth in this fight. Armor is mine now, little raven. Yes! <laughs> Box Machina, let's go! Another vestige for my collection. 
That's another reason why it was smart to leave Grog outside. That way, if worst happens, then he's not going to get the gauntlets, at least. Behind you! God! No, don't shoot! Man, I love that Umbrasil isn't just a savage beast. He's, like, really clever and cunning in how he fights, too. It's very dragon. God! I bet this one was really stressful around the table. <laughs> Don't touch the acid! Oh! Nice. Well done. Reload. Also, where's Ripley? She's in here somewhere and Percy needs to find her. <laughs> that was some confidence, man. At this point, it's just a tactical retreat. Like, we're not even trying to get Myth Carver back. We're just nice. escaping. Oh! Oh! Looks like the only advantage they have is using the dragon's size against him. He can't follow them through that hole. Shanga! It's okay. We're safe now. <laughs> How many times do I have to say this? We can't win! If you guys can't defeat Umbrasil, how the hell are you going to defeat uh, Thordak? Oh, fuck. He can see them from one vestige to the other. It, like, they're linked. That's not fair. That's so not fair. For all the wrong you've done in your life, you'd have to do a hell of a lot right. Like save the world, for example. Ah! God damn it. I guess we're running again. Come on, Vax! Okay, he forced it to the ground at least. No, come on, Keyleth! Ooh, God. It's all gonna come down to Scanlan and he's gonna have to have a moment of bravery. I'm calling it. Ooh. Fucking hell. It's like the very crystals in the rock are like. Ref Responding to his call. Shall we? Yeah, Pike! Fuck yeah, she came back in! Look at you. Hardly a snack. Yes! With his leg on a splint. Come on, Grog. Yes, use the gauntlets. Come on! Stop! Stealthing! <laughs> Come on! Just use reckless attack, Grog. Attack in every direction. Man, we're really fighting to the last man here. Everyone's taking hits. Come on, Scanlan. Find your goddamn bravery already. Come on, dude. This was a mistake. He got him, though. He got him. Oh, he got him. No. Oh, God, no. His rage just ended. What do we even do? This mountain will be your tomb. If it's our fate, so be it. Damn. They're resolute as all hell. You have given me three vestiges of divergence. God, he's got all three of them. Okay, Scanlan. Do your thing. We all know you're going to. Two. <sighs> this oh my god, he just grabbed it! No. Holy shit! Come on, Scanlan! In the eyeball! Holy shit! <laughs> what? And Ripley was there the whole time? God damn it!
Get out of here. We don't have time for you in the story right now, Ripley. We'll deal with you later. <laughs> oh, that was badass. Wait, we're Scanlan. Oh, he got squished. Come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, he died a hero, you know? It's a noble sacrifice. It's a good ending to his character. Now let's go get Thordak. Your daughter would have been proud. And I'm in love with you too, Scanlan. Wait, you're alive, motherfucker? Yeah, of course he's alive. All right, well, that's one dragon down, but you guys, the world is still ending. We've got work to do. Uh, what's that glow? Is that the treasure room? Yes! Whoa. Finally, a payday! Fucking finally! An actual hoard! <laughs> <laughs> okay, floating key. Potentially dangerous enchantment. I killed the dragon, didn't I? I should get all the motherfucking magic keys. I mean, he's not wrong. He did kill the dragon. <laughs> we all precipitated. Oh, no, yes, that was We all precipitated. Oh, oh, there's the matron. Okay, and now they have like a like a professional working relationship, kinda. We have to let the people know that hope is not lost. The Chroma Conclave isn't invincible. And without Umbrasil, their plans have been delayed, but the, the emergence is still going to happen eventually. Destiny. She can surprise you. Wait, is that Cassandra? Talking? So to honor their sacrifice, dedication, and goddamn stubbornness, <laughs> I raise a glass to Vox Machina. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> One down. Here, here. Three to go. Yeah, the three toughest dragons. I'm saying. I'm glad I'm glad we got our early victory, but this is not a celebration of, of like we're not done. You know of this dragon, Keeper Yenon? I do. Before I continue, hear my words. Hear my words, because I'm Gina Torres and I get paid the most for being in this episode. As it seems. Wait, what? Are you a dragon? Shit, Sean. No. 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 Everybody just got poisoned. What the fuck? A member of the Chroma Conclave. Right, Sean. I didn't know if dragons in this universe would be able to take on a human form. I hate Thordak as much as you. Okay, so there's descent in the clock in the Conclave. He is intent on stripping Teldori of its gold, but not to satisfy his greed. For the emergence. What purpose? So was Keeper Yenin replaced by this dragon? Has Keeper Yenin always been a dragon in disguise? Can dragons control whose form they take? Umbrasil has been felled by the vestige bearers, my king. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, they were. A new army awaits. An army that will soon inherit this world. It's not half giants. Who is it this time? Glory to the Chroma Conclave. Oh God, are those dragon eggs? Fuck. There's about to be a million dragons fly- Oh, this is bad. This is bad. And that's the end of the season? Wow, what a cliffhanger ending. Like, out of the frying pan, into the flames. I have qu I have immediate questions about Keeper Yenin and and at what point she was replaced with this dragon. And and, and which dragon, like... So so clearly we haven't met everyone in the Chroma Conclave yet. Unless, unless this dragon that's in Yenin's form right now was present in that first episode meeting with uh, with Thordak and everyone. I'll have to go back and rewatch and see if that's the same character. Season 2 was awesome. This was this was great. Easily one of my favorite like dragon fight encounters that I've that I think I've ever seen animated or otherwise. And the fact that it was spread over two full episodes meant we got so much so much of the action and so much of the goodness in here. Um, I think overall Grog's development this season was my favorite. Getting the beard, losing his strength, having to regain it and figure out where exactly his strength comes from, and then standing up to his uncle. That was that was fantastic. The, yeah, the the uh, the Kevdak Grog fight was probably my favorite part of this season. Vax becoming the chosen of the Matron of Ravens, totally badass, and I really didn't know where it was going to lead and if it was going to have a positive or negative outcome for him overall. And it, and she really came through. Like when he when the wings came out in that oh that was so cool. That was an awesome moment. 
And, and clearly that story continues in season three because he has definitely not ended this relationship. In fact, it's just beginning. And it's clearly going to take him to new places. I really don't know how I feel about Scanlan at this point. Um, a lot of comments from a lot of people, especially during season one, were telling me, like, just wait. Scanlan, like, you know, you'll care about him by the end of season two. Like, he has a lot of character development that makes you feel, like, feel for him and stuff. I don't know. I wouldn't say that it fell flat for me. I do understand what they were trying to do, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, Scanlan's the greatest now. You know, if anything, he broke even by killing that dragon because he definitely had, he had negative credit as far as I was concerned up until that moment. But now Scanlan's all right. You know, he's all right. He'll never be my favorite, but you know, I can tolerate him just fine now. <laughs> And if you go back to season one, episode one reaction, you'll know that that is high praise coming from me based on where we started, me and Scanlan. Yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal episode. Some great fantasy storytelling and a really, really clever reworking of, of, of table game mechanics being translated into the story beats of, of an action of sequence like this. Like, it's, it, it's not going to get old. It, it's so gratifying to see that that one-to-one -one translation of like a dice roll and then affecting the outcome of something and you get to see the decision making happen in real time. It's just really, really cool. Yeah, overall, I would say season two of Legend of Vox Machina has been badass and I, I'm not quite sure how long I have to wait now for season three. Um, let me know in the comments if there's a release date, if there's a trailer, any information for me about what's happening next in the story because I really can't wait. And now I have to wait alongside everybody else, you know? I'm all caught up and it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed my journey through Vox Machina Seasons 1 and 2. It's on to Season 3. I can't wait. Um, those reactions will be dropping right here on the channel as soon as Season 3 comes out. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reactions to Season 2 of The Legend of Vox Machina. I've really enjoyed sharing them with everybody and learning so much about Critical Role and about the behind-the-scenes stories from everybody in the comments. Like, please keep those coming. I love learning so much about these things after the fact from all the fans that come into the YouTube comments and just... You know, if I get anything wrong or I make a bad observation, I like being corrected as well because I really do want to have accurate knowledge about these things that I enjoy, you know? So please, weigh in. Let me know what you thought of this. Um, this was just a really fun experience. Season 3 is going to be great, I can already tell. This has been The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.